Hi guys, welcome back to Thrifty and OKC. If you are just joining for the first time, I am a reseller who lives in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and I love to share haul videos with you, mixed in with a little bit of reseller tips on why I buy what I buy. So today I am going to share a weekend haul video and show you some of the things that I picked up this weekend to sell on Etsy and to sell on maybe Poshmark. I have not decided yet. So. The first thing that I get was a sweatshirt that I have on, which is super oversized. Um, it is an extra large, but man, it is comfy and it's a little chilly up here today. So I have this on here in a bun. We're kind of having a worker day here for MLK day. Um, and so anyway, part of my work is doing a YouTube video. So let me share with you some of the stuff that I got. So one of the first things I got, and I did put this up on my Instagram, is this little LA gear jacket. And it's just a little cropped side, like diagonal zip, short sleeve jacket. It does have this little LA gear medallion on it. It does not have the patch on the back. Some of the LA gear stuff will have a patch on the back of it. This one doesn't. Um, I almost always pick up LA gear, it has some shoulder pads, total 80s. I almost always pick up LA gear when I find it because it's a great seller for me. So it's a label that is People, it's synonymous with the 80s, kind of like guess, anything guess with that triangle, I snatch that up. I do the same with anything LA gear. I, I almost always sell it and it sells very quickly for me. I also picked up at the Goodwill and these may go on Poshmark, may go on Etsy, I'm not for sure. If you see something you like as always, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to sell it um, through just to you directly. Um, and it's usually a little bit cheaper than you would get it because I don't have to pay any fees. Um, these little brass things, they are made in India. I don't know if they're little flower pots or what, but I thought these were really cute. I picked these up. They were $2.12. They were $7 originally, but $2.12 at the Goodwill, and they were yellow, so they were the half price color. So, great home decor. These are actually my style. I debated keeping them. Right now, they're going to go up for sale, but that could change. You never know. I also picked up at Habitat for Humanity. And I mentioned before, but if you're new to watching, if you don't ever go to Habitat for Humanity, a lot of people think that Habitat only has um, building material, and that is not true. Habitat actually has quite a bit of um, like a thrift store section where people donate, and they have trucks that, that come in from other places. So these were two really cute little pictures I got um, for a quarter a piece at the Habitat. Again, have debated keeping them, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to put them up. I thought they would be really cute together. So when I list them on either Etsy or Poshmark, I will keep them together in a set. So those are they here. And I don't, a lot of people probably will be like, well, don't you list more than one place? I don't. Um, I try to keep a lot of my vintage separate on Etsy and then my Poshmark newer stuff. And then I use eBay a lot for things that I don't really know about the price on. Or maybe things that are modern, they're not vintage, but that are not, um, they're not trendy. So they're not really going to sell on Poshmark. So, so then I also went out to the flea market and I got, which I'm not going to show, but I know that you moms will know what this is, especially if you have little ones. I got a big gallon bag of magnetiles for a dollar, which is a steal. If you buy those, you know, they are a fortune. Um, so I have a lady who always has them. I don't know how. But she only charges a dollar, and you'll get like 30 or 40 of them, which is a good chunk. So we've amassed a huge collection that way. So that was a big excitement for me. I also got at the flea market these button covers. These are from the Limited. Hopefully you can see those. They're in new condition, and they really are for being white. The gold tone is all there. It is not worn off. It is not discolored. I have to assume this is vintage when the Limited has been out of business Two, I, I don't know anywhere other than like really uh, like shops for maybe older ladies, um, meaning older than me that sell button covers or maybe like crafty type. I, I don't know. But anyway, these are really cool. They would be super cool on a jean jacket. Wouldn't be able to button, but these just snap on. So if you had like a jean jacket that you were going to leave um, open, these buttons would really add some pizzazz. I do decent with button covers. On Etsy as well. I, I find a lot of vintage ones and I do pretty good with those. The more 80s, the better. I picked up this Lego movie book for my son. It's still got some of the Legos over here. 
and he can make a little movie. He and his dad will have fun doing that. Buy me some time to do something I want to do. I got a little Lisa Frank folder. Now this is new Lisa Frank, and I have shared this before. I buy a lot of Lisa Frank. If you see the Lisa Frank, where is it? It's up here. If you see the Lisa Frank and it is in lowercase letters, it is a newer Lisa Frank item. Target sold Lisa Frank, Dollar Tree sold Lisa Frank. This one, it's just like a little three ring binder, but it does have the stickers here. So I was excited it's got some stationary pad and then some of the stickers. Now, I did mention in a video a few videos ago that I did see some Lisa Frank that was new and I think Target and she has gone back to using the big L and the big F again, which is gonna make that a little bit harder to identify unless you really, really know your Lisa Frank. But if you see little L, little F, it's likely not vintage. Vintage being 20 years or more, um, older, 20 years or older. So I also picked up these two little clutch bags here. So this first one is a Kate Landry bag. It still has its little sticker thingy on the inside. These will likely go in my gift closet. Um, I love to give, if I'm given like earrings or a gift card or something small, it's really fun to stick in a little bag like this and present it instead of wasting like a paper bag that somebody's just gonna throw away. So a lot of times I like to slide them in little things like this. This is a little Kate Spade. It still had its tags on it, which was nice. It's a pencil pouch, it's animal print. I loved it. I also at the Habitat, picked up these straw Easter bunnies. Um, these are placemats. There's no tags on them. I couldn't find <laughs> anything when I Google Lens, use Google Lens to try to find them, or just Googled and researched. So I'm not sure um, if they are a rigor item, but I thought with Easter coming up, these were really cute and could really make somebody's Easter table with a little bit of a boho look to it. I obviously I paid $3 for those. You can see that sticker on them. These I may actually put up on eBay to auction just because um, I have no idea what to charge for them. And actually, I didn't know. I mean, this is how I learn a lot of stuff, as I'm sure if you resell, you do too. I didn't have any idea that some of this straw type or tan placemat, placemats can go for pretty decent money. So, kind of surprised. Learn something new every day, right? And so then the last thing I want to show you guys is this was my favorite find of the weekend. I found this Bakelite bracelet. I paid $3 for it. Um, Bakelite is, has a great resale value. And it's something that a lot of times you can pick up for cheap because people don't know what it is. If you don't sell it, then a lot of people think that it's plastic. And as the, was the case here, obviously. So the bamboo carved Bakelite can sell anywhere from $75 to $125. Not all Bakelite sells for that much, but these are a little bit more rare. Um, how do you know it's Bakelite? So I'd used two tests. I had run out of Simichrome and I got on my Texas gals, jewelry lovers, those ladies are great, and they said, go get Simichrome. I had used the 409 test to test it and it did pass that one and I had used the hot water test. So what those are, and I'm gonna spell it for you, Simichrome, S-I-M-I-C-H-R-O-M-E, is a, um, it's really, I think, a metal polish. And for some reason, on Bakelite, if you put a little bit on a swab, it's like a paste, and you rub it, it's going to turn it yellow. And it's a very defined yellow in every one I've ever done. It's not like you're like, well, it looks kind of yellow, or does it, it, it's a very clearly yellow. Um, you can also order it on Amazon. I can't remember if I said that. I picked mine up at the Home Goods store. So this one passed on that. And then the second one, you can run it under some hot water and it will smell, put it up and smell it. And it will smell just like formaldehyde. It'll take you back to your science class days, um, dissecting <laughs> things because it is a, it, it smells. Um, one of the things you can do on, on the DL, if you're out in public with somebody, if you rub it on your hand and create a little friction or... Or your clothes, my husband does it on his pants, I do it on my hand, and then smell it, you'll smell that formaldehyde smell. I can smell it right now. Um, obviously, don't let on that you're doing something strange because then they might up price you on it. But again, very common, looks like plastic, heavier than plastic by a little bit. But I always, a lot of times I take a risk on something that I think could be Bakelite because I have bought 
handbags that I got for like $10 and got them home and they're Bakelite and sold them for $250. It's a, it's a worthwhile investment. You might be wrong every once in a while, but it also gives you some training and knowledge to recognize it when you see it. Because again, it it, it is an, a price that is a, an item that is often um, not marked appropriately because people think it's just a cheap plastic bracelet. So I did um, get this listed up on Etsy. It is already out there. So we'll see if it sells. It's, it's in a unique color as well. This is not an easy to find color. So I'm hoping to make a little spring break money with this one. Um, so thanks so much. That's that's pretty much what I got over the weekend. Of course, I did get jewelry bags. I've been really into buying those dang jewelry bags, but I thought I'd do a little different video because I've shared a couple of uh, jewelry hauls with you guys. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, um, leave a comment down below. Any interaction with the channel definitely helps. And one of my goals this year is to really try to grow and get some more subscribers. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great MLK day and I'll see you next time. Have a great one. Bye-bye.